Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. And it's Friday, yes. I hope everyone's going to have an awesome weekend. Right, KS Craft, and today we're going to do the large bag topper. This is a set of three different sizes that I've got here. And we're also going to do the Butterfly Jumbo Paperclip yes we are those two things and they're really quick and really easy right i have been and i have die cut and for the paper clip obviously you're going to need a jumbo paper clip now i got this one on aliexpress and if i can find the link i will link it and i will give you a measurement of this paper clip it is oh let's have a look I'm going edge to edge here. It is just over three and three quarter inches. That is the size of that paper clip. Now, of course, when you're doing paper clips, you slide them sideways onto a page, an album, or just to decorate a bag or anything that you choose to. So there is my paper clip. And here is the first part of that die which is a butterfly. Now, as you can see, these pieces fold over within the paper clip and the tabs will glue over but first of all we're going to layer it up because this also comes with layers so i've done a patterned layer with some lovely flowery gold cardstock there which is going to go onto there first and then i'm going to fluff it up afterwards now these are great you can decorate your clip up with tassels um, you can use gemstones onto these butterflies. You can do them however you want to. They're just really pretty. And I don't think there's any sort of like faster way of gift giving than doing stuff like this. Now I've got a second one which is exactly the same size. And that is going down onto there. So I'll put the blue one down over my pretty pattern paper and then you get a medium sized one which I've done in cream. So we're going to glue that one down onto there. Oops, let's get that a bit straighter. I'm trying to have a look here. I think that's it. And then my teeny one is cutting patterns paper again. Now, I don't know if Creative Path still does um, this paper pack. So if I can find it, I'll link it. But it is a beautiful set. Right, I want to make sure that those are dry because obviously I want to fluff them up. I want to be able to see all those really pretty layers that are under there. And I want that one to kind of... There. I will pick it up and share it in a second but I'm going to do exactly the same I'm just holding my glue spot and I'm just lifting it up I mean if you've got to gift somebody anything or even if you're gifting a book because these look really great on the front of book covers then it's just a quick simple way to give a gift so if you look at that you can see just how dimensional it is and then you can start to see all your lovely patterns beneath just really cute and as i said you know you can put your little beads up there or you can cut a little butterfly body if you've got that other butterfly that i shared at the beginning of the week but then it just goes over so you know i'm going to flatten my butterfly just for a second and i'm going to put some glue there i'm going to put some glue there now, I took my pin out. <laughs> I can never find my pin. Yeah, never mind. And we're going to fold this over. So just take your time and pop that over to there. Now, obviously making sure that you've got it straight. Now my other blob of glue is quite large so that's not going to dry quite yet so i'm quite safe to do this and then you want to get your other one in and i'm using two pairs of hands and you just want to fold that over and hold it 
So because of my humidity, you know, everything does take a couple of seconds. But that should be okay now. If I flip that over, you can see just how quick, quick and easy that was. I mean, you can make a bunch of these as gifts and just slide them onto a piece of pattern cardstock and pop them in a little cello bag that you could get really cheaply from Dollar Tree and uh, you've made some great gifts so that's how it looks on the back just your tabs rolled over now then next up is the bag topper and that too is really quick all you need is a little bit of ephemera or whatever and i've just cut it out you can see i've used the same blue cardstock here as the butterfly so if this was it you know a gift to give to someone then it's the perfect thing now, i'm just folding over there so i can still see my stitch lines and then i'm going to make sure that my scallops are lined up and straight and as somebody reminded me the other day you really should use your burn folder because it's professional i absolutely agree yes so here we go <laughs> there's my bone folder it's not covered in dust i do use it sometimes and you end up with your little bag topper here now i have used the smaller butterflies and i've cut two in cream and one in pattern paper so i'm just going to glue those together same thing again just a little bit of glue down the body and i'm going cream on cream and then i want my pattern piece on the top now once again all your ephemera all your little bits of uh, beads and gems and all of your lovely stuff you can decorate so I've got that really sweet butterfly now and I'm just going to fold that up once again. Just give it a good fluffing. And then separate that one out. And then we've got a dear sweet butterfly to pop onto here. And I've also got just a little tiny bit of ephemera and this is from the creative path again so i'm just going to go with that and i'm going to stick that down there this is how quick and simple it is i mean even if you print in off your ephemera you know just fussy cut it and uh, pop it on and you end up with something great something that's really quick and simple and then I've got a little sentiment here that says life is better with you and that's got a little bit of glitz going on so I'm just going to pop that here I'm hoping that's straight yes it is now there's a little space here that you could uh, you know pop something else but I actually want to put my butterfly over here on top of my flowers so I've got plenty of space there if I wanted to stick something I'm just fluffing that up again but there you have it you've got a jumbo paper clip which I'll share with you here you can just pop it on to whatever like that so you've got your gift bag topper you've got that and you're ready to go all you need to do is make a card make a card and make sure you've got a gift isn't that great so quick so easy and i just think they're so cute right have an absolutely awesome weekend i am up again on monday with some more from ks craft i do thank you so much for joining me today and as usual all links below bye